I come from? Take that motherfucking head off. Why is you in here with a head on? Take that damn head off. I thought it would look cute. Take that damn head off. That's why you sweat. I bet you feel more air now. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Missy Miles, and your girl, Miss Mika, and we back. Surprise! We back, bitch. Drop, drop in. We're back. Red quick. We back. Y'all here for this. Y'all here to witness this. Them, probably, them people probably clicked off. Okay. They probably clicked off the damn video. Well, guess what? We giving y'all one. Y'all be harassing us. People be all in my Twitter box talking about it'd be nice if we can get a goddamn video. We cussing me out. We back. We cussing them. We dropping. We giving y'all one. And we got some, some, we got, you know what? People still send emails. emails. I I'm probably surprised. get one maybe once a month. Cause and me, I say fuck y'all. The now, email would say fuck y'all. Bitch, shit. now they sometimes I got one from in a DM. They want me to see it. <laughs> they listen. Well, we I, back, y'all. You know, we gon' we gon' ask. I know we we done made y'all this promise a mean time. But <laughs> I ain't even <laughs> promise. Well, I ain't gonna promise. Me, we gon' we, we like, gon' attempt. We like a dad be dead. Keep, yeah. We yeah, always come on. You be sitting outside with your book bag and on. shit waiting on your dad and your dad don't never show up. Don't never show up. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna try to keep it consistent. We gonna try. We gonna try. We, maybe not be every week. Maybe every two weeks. But we might know, get it every week. We ain't doing shit. What we doing? Okay, we really ain't. We ain't so anyway, um, make sure if you have any discrepancies. There you go. I see you still. There you go. There you go. Y'all, just if you got any questions, <laughs> send any, them any to problems, send them to at keeping it real at gmail.com. Again, that is at keeping it real gmail.com. Are you saying ask or ask? ask. ASK people, just cause I thought you said it keep it real. Well, it ain't my fault. You got a list or something. Yet. I ain't got no damn I, list. I don't know what you said. I'm sorry. I may be a little country, I'm, but I ain't I'm got sorry. no list. I'm just trying to get it clear for the Ask. viewers, so they would know. Like, keeping it real at gmail.com, and that's keeping it the ghetto way with the I N. Keeping it real. I'm gonna put the link below, as well as some other links in our wow. social media. Um, no problem is too big, no problem too small. Right. Um, even if you want to ask us a question about, you know, a little simple shit. What do y'all like to watch? What do you like to yeah, read? Yeah, you can send us all kind of questions. You know, it don't matter. We'll answer it. We don't got shit to well, do. We so. not doing okay, I'm going to go with this. This is the one that I got sent through a, a DM, DM okay. last week. And I asked okay. the person if it would be all right if I could answer it on YouTube mm -hmm. and I just keep them anonymous. All right, it says, hey, Miles, LOL. First, I love your YouTube channel. You are hilarious. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. okay, so I want to DM you because I want advice on something. I've been in a relationship with a girl named June for over a year, and my family has no idea. They know her, but not the extent of our relationship. My family is very religious, and I live in the South, especially my parents. I want to come out, but I don't know where to start. I feel like I'm too old to be in the closet. What should I do? Thank How old is that it worked? She didn't specify she's, she's her gay, age, right? but oh, okay. she is gay. Um, <laughs> okay. Then this is when I hit her up and asked that I answer, and she replied with saying, "Yes, no problem, thank you." She did specify her age in this one. Okay. It's just hard for me being 19 and totally oh. dependent on family. I don't want this. I don't want to be disowned or kicked out or something. Um, okay. Now that I know you're 19, <laughs> um, I think my advice would be to keep it. To yourself at the moment and I don't know a lot of people will probably say no nah, you need to let them know if that's what you want to do but I just feel like with you being 19 you still on your parents roof they're very religious and they live in the south and they like you depending on them financially girl the, you um, know parents unless can you be, go stay with June and June bug okay. <laughs> parents mm -hmm. can be a little bit um, over the top when they get news like that right. and you don't want them to kick you out you don't want to have nowhere to go right. especially if you got no job you know, they might try I mean, to fight you. Yeah. You know, I just feel like... And I know the saying, you got the on, saying that goes, yourself. you know, our parents always, well, as long as you're under my house, you... Buy. And I mean, technically, that is true. If yeah. you on their roof, they paying for this, they paying for phone bill. I mean, you just got to take it as a come until you get on your own, get grown, get out. Now, what you do outside the house, if you don't get back to them, hey, if you can sneak and freak. <laughs> Cause Lord knows yeah. I'm snuck and fraught. Sneak and free. Sneak yeah, and free. You just snuck you know, and fucked. That's what I'm Yeah. <laughs> But if you can sneak and freak, then yeah. But I, I would I would probably say just keep it. I mean you can keep it to yourself all the time. 
I would say just keep it to yourself for right now. And then once you get out there on your own, can support yourself or whatever. If you still feel like it's important for you to come out to your parents, come out to your parents. But I guarantee you probably by the end when you old enough and grown, you don't give a fuck what they you say. You probably don't even gonna want to, because you don't care to tell them that because you're going to feel like you grown and you on your right, own. Right, so. right. That's something that I went through, you know. I, <laughs> nest, I didn't even tell my closest friends that I was gay, even though they already we knew, knew, but they we respected knew. me <laughs> enough to... Not ever bring it up or ask me was I gay. Right. It's the same with my family. I, I've had no family members say, "Hey, Miles, are you gay? When you gonna when we gonna get some grandkids or when I'm gonna get a niece or nephew?" And up until this point, I'm 28 now, where I got my own my own car, own place. I'm making my own living, and I recently came out to my father last year, um, and everything went good. You know, everything's still the same. But I was just in a place where I got tired of, you know, just feeling to yourself, keeping you it to myself, and you know, not sharing it with my brother and sister who I already knew as well. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, and it's, it's for me, it's just different strokes for different folks. So I just say, until you are able to get on your feet, it's financially, right. keep it to yourself, right? Because you don't want to be just put out for no damn reason. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. It's kind of like I hate telling you to keep who you are to yourself. But just looking out for your best interest, I think you should, you know. But hey, you never know. Maybe maybe if you tell your parents, maybe they won't be as upset as you think they will be. Or maybe they would. Um, hopefully, everything go right. And if you do decide to tell your parents, please make sure you hit us up via email with an update. Because I would love to know what happened. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. Just but think about it before you do it. I probably will. But you want to do it? No. You know how the tree she is. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I back at that age, mm. I, I would probably. I would but you were 19. No, nah, I wouldn't tell You wouldn't tell them? I was 19. Hell no, I wouldn't tell But see, the reason why I didn't tell my parents because I was pretty much the same thing. I was scared and I know they, they not very religious, but they but you believe, know, you know I know that my mom do, she believes that if you gay, you're going you to hell. hell. yeah. But see, that's the thing, that you, and then too, I guess it depends on the kind of parents you got, because you do got some parents that still got their religious belief, they still going to believe that, but the part of you being a child, they still gonna top that. They right. still gonna love you, take care of you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They gonna agree with it. They gonna nine times ten. They gonna tell you, you keep that shit away from my house. As long mm-hmm. as you do whatever you wanna do out of the street, just don't bring it here. That's what right. a lot. And of that's and that's say. and you know what? That's you can't give them the respect. Yeah, that's what a lot of parents say because you are in their house. And right. if they don't. They don't like that. They don't buy about it. You can't do that. Right. And eventually, so. if you do come out to her as a lesbian, not they gonna get over it. Of course. They gonna get over it's, it. It's, it's gonna it's gonna seem like they not, but they are. Yeah. Cause it's gonna take them a minute. They don't have to realize that well, that's still my child. That's my daughter. That's you know. They'll get over. So this one is titled "I'm Going to Jail." <laughs> it says, "Hey Miles, hey Mika, I love y'all, and Mika is so pretty." Oh, thank you. Who are you? It don't say. I just took a screenshot. Okay, it says, "I'm going to jail, y'all." Lol. I'm having a problem with this girl at my job who keeps my name in her mouth. I don't know her. She don't know me. I recently caught wind that she called me a hoe because I went on a date with two guys from our job. I didn't fuck them, they just took me out. I'm single. Girl, okay, get your free dates and free meals. Okay. Fuck up. I was anyway. Okay. Shit. Anyway, okay, my question is, do I confront her messy big nipple ass or do I be a tell <laughs> and let and let HR know? I don't need this job. I just gotta have a little extra money. This is my last year of college and I plan on quitting when I graduate. Thanks for the help. Girl <laughs> So you know she's having a problem with somebody. A bitch at her job that's running their mouth, don't know her, spreading rumors and all that. With that. <laughs> you stupid. Okay, go ahead. Don't do that. But, nah, with that, I mean, coins over bitches, money over bitches. I wouldn't, I mean, <clears throat> technically you can't really, I mean, you whoop somebody with what they say out their mouth, but not really. If it ain't fucking with your money, none of that, I wouldn't give a fuck about it. And you just said you about to graduate, you gonna quit when you graduate. Like, fuck that, fuck her. She probably mad because niggas didn't take her on the day. Okay, that's all. You know, Fuck it, her. every job got that messy yeah. ass bitch. And that's how the team, they don't, gonna be j- yeah. they, they don't know shit about you. They just know of you. And, and probably, see, you probably keep yourself up coming to work. You yeah. probably nice to people. You got some people who be intimidated. Even if you'd have been nice to them and spoke to them, they just intimidate. Like, I don't like her. She thinks she all in. Mm-hmm. Why, uh, it makes so it makes I spoke to you. I, I hear people say that all the time. Yeah. Oh, don't fool her because she thinks she all that. Well, how do you know that? You don't even know her. You don't know her. Just because she can be down to earth. Just because the bitch weave and her makeup make be on every day. And she, you come she to work she with, with crust in your mother's yeah. eye. Yeah, because she takes a bath. She thinks she's yeah. shit. Girl. Yes, girl. Fuck her. I fuck, say beat her ass. Her. Beat her ass. Girl, keep 
You not you like the extra money. You like the extra money, right? <laughs> Fuck her. So okay, Worry about your not money. beat her ass, but do don't she even conf- confront don't her? Confront her? No. You can if you on a job, don't confront her because she can very well take that. If you don't go to HR, she could be a petty. She, she can go, go to, to HR, HR behind you, mm-hmm. you try to get you so fired. So should she go to HR? Or she just say, fuck it? I don't know, because you could be a smart bitch and go to HR and make a plate yourself. That way if you would put it, y'all probably still get fired, though. So, mm-hmm. I mean, well, it's not going to defeat the, It's not, no, I mean, ain't nothing going to happen, but you get fired. If you go to HR and you still end up with plans, you going to get fired. Or, or jail. So, what I suggest you do, you probably should make a form complaint to HR. And then can I say, bitch, I can't be on work premises and whoop ass. <laughs> Try that. It's, it's more than one way to get a cat, man. If you is, catch y'all guard, no, that bitch, bitch hang out at Walmart. Whoop ass. Catch that bitch at the Waffle House when they out come from the club. Yeah, they ain't got nothing to do with work. So don't. And then you still got your complaint that you made to HR for you good. Or you can always get your cousin who ratchet and buy them a motherfucking outfit and give them $10. And get them whoop ass, because you know we got, got cousins. I got plenty of them. Yeah, yeah. got plenty of them. You want me to beat her ass? So. How, yeah, so <laughs> it's more than one way to skin cat now to yeah. keep to keep you covered to where you keep your job and you good. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't even pay no mind. I make my complaint. You know what else I do? But I wouldn't pay no mind. But I catch that bitch somewhere off 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 ground, <laughs> and then ask her what it is. You know what else I do? I would kill that bitch for kindness. <clears throat> and then that's another thing. I even make your complaint, but speak to her every time you see her. Hey, mm-hmm. good morning. And come in there the baddest bitch. That she Shoot wouldn't know it. Why, face, she'll be, why she's speaking to me all the yeah. time. She might want to be my friend. I don't be up for every time you see that bitch. Hey, hey. go out your way to yeah, speak to her. Yeah, come for me, ladies. I don't give hey, a shit. Hey, girl, I like, y'all like your shoes. <laughs> shoes. Shoe could be motherfucking leaning like a of pizza. <laughs> bitch, I like those shoes. Those are cute. Get it, kill that bitch with kindness. Yeah, kill that bitch with kindness. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand. They don't kill people kind. They just want to fight their ass. Kill their ass. And sometimes kind. just fight them. That fuck both of y'all up. Like yep. you said, your ex, you got extra money. Keep your extra money. You never Keep know that money coming handy, bitch. Right. Fuck Keep up. Your extra money. Just mad ass bitch. She just upset. She mad at them niggas. She's a dry faced ass. What's name? Say, hey, you dry faced ass hoe. <laughs> She dropped she mad cause she, And she mad because them niggas ain't take phones ass, and they, date. Yeah, they that took your ass for charities and you yeah, got your estate. Y'all I'm a little tipsy. This little alcohol in this cup, so, yeah. It ain't a little bit. That Whatever bitch pour a lot. Out, come out. You know that motherfucking video said, hey, just a little bit of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch just pouring out. That's what Mika did. That's what her ass did. She over here. Right then, y'all. Hey, Mika and Miles, I love y'all. Okay, so I'm pregnant and I don't know who the father of my baby is. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I see why you want to be a nunny. I see why, cause you've been jumping on every pole that came through. Okay, girl. Listen to the next sentence. I'm married to a that. wonderful man. And you don't know who your baby daddy is. But I fucked up and let my temptation take over my lust for a coworker. I love my husband. He's a good. He's good to me and our daughter. It's just that he's not that good in bed, as I would like him to be. My question mm-hmm. is, do I come clean now, or do I wait and see who the baby looks like at birth? I'm scared. <laughs> Bitch, you better get it. I'm scared. Bitch, said, wait, see what we look like. I'm scared. Please don't go into. Please don't go in on me too bad. I'm a huge fan. Signed, Mama's baby, Daddy's baby. Signed, big ass hope. That would the shit. Signed, your husband's gonna beat your motherfucking ass. Signed, you know your baby gonna be y'all gonna you gonna be a single mom. Signed, you gonna be frying fish when you find out. And signed, your coworker gonna tell you, bitch, that ain't my baby. Then you gonna be fucked. So, <laughs> girl, woo, you got a lot so going bitch, on. So, bitch, you wanna. Oh, God. So if you married to a good dude, and this is what I try to tell a lot of females. Sometimes it just ain't no hope. Mm-hmm. But this is what I try to tell a lot. Like, if you got a dude who ain't, he just, you know, he ain't this sexual. He don't know how to do this. He got a nice, like, some dudes have nice equipment, but they just don't even know what to do with it. Or they stroke me wrong. Teach him. It could be fun. Try to see, especially if he a good dude. Like, if he a good dude, he pay bills. Make it a, make it a like a. He probably is a good dude. Yeah, make it like a if night where, where y'all play with toys me. or stuff yeah. like that. You can Role teach him. Role play, bitch. You be Catwoman. He be yeah. Batman. Yeah, and it might, it might, something might click and he might be able to withstand one day. Suck a dick while y'all ride down. Suck a dick while y'all ride down. Suck a dick while y'all ride down damn free while yeah. you're in church. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's shit you don't do, nigga. You probably a motherfucking a prince and pink. A pillow prince and laying your ass at that. And he pumping his sweat. He got to do it. <laughs> you brought me in your ass there and he probably in the sweat and got to do all damn work. No wonder he tired. Shit. One man to work eight hours and you come laying back, pop spread open, he got to do all that damn pump. That man tired as fuck. Shit. No, no. I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know what she should do. Cause either way go, you fuck. Either way go, you fuck.
and you because just don't know. If you come now, clean, and do. then it's his baby, and he's still gonna leave. Now you still gotta break this. This is what you should do. If you've been fucking your coworker, go through the motherfucking pregnancy. This is what I think you should do. I don't think you should come clean because people make mistakes, and I, you know, niggas, they don't forgive women easily when they've been cheated on. But it's probably better for her to come clean just in the simple fact of if she don't come clean and, it ain't and then his when she had that baby and it don't look shit like him, he be like, damn, I want DNA test and that he is. Now you didn't lie for a whole damn pregnancy. But uh, ain't nobody gonna look at the baby and say, this baby don't look like me. Because they babies, they newborns. Sometimes, because I don't think Kamaya looked like Kyle when she first well, was what born. If it get on what but now she looks just like I Kyle. said in the event it come out, because yeah. what if her husband light skin and a nigga dark? <laughs> then the baby come out all chocolate and shit. Then right. come, who the dad of this so, chocolate and baby? So bitch? this is what I would do. I don't know. If man. I was in your situation, and I'm not saying do this, you know, but I would wait. And when you had a baby, I would give my, I would give the coworker a DNA test first. First, first. you should rule him out first though. Rule that him way, out if first. he ain't the daddy, you ain't got shit to worry about. You ain't, exactly. You can just be good. Um. And bitch, I don't know. And if he, in any event that he is a dad, you're gonna have to tell your husband. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't. Don't let that man take care. Of, and not saying it like that because he probably would. If the event he good, he start to stay with you. Blah but blah blah. Give, give the, the coworker but, a chance yeah. to do what he's supposed yeah, to do as a man. Child, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because ultimately, you fucked up. I know what's mean. You did. You fucked yeah, up all the way around. You fucked up all the way around. You fucked up all the way around because number one, you was cheating, bitch. You was cheating. And you didn't have enough sense to use protection. Why? Oh Why? my god. Why? I was just Why? about to say that. Am I, I close? Was... I just want to know if I'm real close to the camera. <laughs> Why? 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 That's stupid. That's what I was gonna say, Why? too. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna be like, bitch. So you mean to tell me you go out here and cheat on your wonderful man That's right. and you what? not and you don't, and use, then a you don't use a condom. So and not then, only did you get pregnant. Yeah, you could have brought him back in the scene. Yeah, yeah. That's what I don't understand with people who cheat or people who just fuck every fucking body. Then you be wondering when you get a motherfucking uh, a motherfucking hair bump. Then you wonder, oh, yeah. you got goddamn, yeah. Uh, yeah. Think yeah. you got the motherfucking bug. Now, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to see. I don't, I don't think I. You probably do. Cause you been out here dipping your dick in the well of everything. You just been <laughs> everywhere. Goddamn dipping dots. Child, lady, girl. You been fucked up all the way around, and it's so crazy because. You're not the only woman who And you that know. Is. And you know that's why you're right. You know that dude a good dude. You're wrong for that. Yeah, she said she's scared. So don't tell me not to go in. You're wrong for that. She's scared. And, and I bet he fine. Probably is. Now, I'm going to tell you. If it don't <laughs> end up being his, and he dot your motherfucking eye, he is real well within his rights. I'm sorry. <laughs> he put something on her ass. If he put something, he put something on your ass. He... <laughs> Especially when it's a baby involved. Blue, blue, and y'all probably got no baby when he want a baby. Mm -hmm. Girl. Then he probably paying the bills. He probably go to church. He probably cook. He probably just ain't got the good stroke. He probably do everything else right. He probably get a good head. Girl, you could have taught that man. And you you know, don't good. try to blame him on his bad sex, bitch. You just want to be a hoe and get you a piece of your coworker. And you probably had heard that in the coworker probably a hoe. He probably didn't fuck some everything and then she know he heard. got good dick. <laughs> so she probably said, show him. She ain't got to go. He be throwing that ass. 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 He be yeah, her about them gay put some on ass. She probably did. Well, little. girl, give us an update and let us know Ooh. what happened. If you're still pregnant, if you didn't have the baby, is it your husband? <laughs> is it your co-workers, girl? What color is the rainbow in your world? Let us know. We want to know. Because you got some shit going on. This one says, hey, guys, my name is Shanice. I love y'all. I love you, too. Love you, too, Shanice. So, I'm not an insecure person. I just got a feeling. I let my cousin move in with my boyfriend. Girl. <laughs> I don't even got the girl. I let my cousin move in with my boyfriend and I asked to help out with bills while I was in between jobs. My cousin moved in and everything was cool. I finally got a job and I was gone from the house during the day. There bitch, when you left the house, you should have made sure that bitch was leaving the house. Or him one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, all of a sudden my cousin started acting funny. By the way, my cousin is a guy. Oh, yeah, okay. So he wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> he would be sure... <laughs> It say he will be short with me, but he talked to the cousin, the guy. Yeah. She think her, her guy cousin fucking her man. Basically, I think it's what I think that's what we're gonna get to. Anyway, he said he wouldn't talk to me. He would be short with me, but he talked to my boyfriend all day long. 
they'll be in there laughing and having hearts to hearts and shit. My cousin be walking around the house and his bitches. They better be no seeing food. They said mm-hmm. my cousin be walking around the house in his little shirts and shit. One day I came home from work and my boyfriend was washing his car, washing her cousin car. She's like, bitch, I was so mad. My boyfriend has even told me that my cousin asked, do do he think receiving head from a man is gay? My boyfriend has also assured me that he's not gay. Wait, my boyfriend has also assured me that he's not gay or interested in my cousin, but at this point, I'm not sure. Should I be worried? Should I kick my cousin out or am I tripping? Love y'all. So, basically, <laughs> she moved her cousin into hell with the bills when her boyfriend had an apartment. Okay. She, she got, got a job. job. She had to leave all day. So, boyfriend and cousin was at mm-hmm. home all the time, probably. They started kicking it, having hearts to heart shit. Boyfriend be watching her cousin's car. So, cousin must be laying some good dick. But anyway, boyfriend be watching her cousin's car and all this stuff. And cousin walk around his little shirts and drawers. But, I would say juicy. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is juicy because your boyfriend been tapping it. Girl, don't tell that girl that. <laughs> girl, don't ignore the signs, girl. Don't ignore the signs. But you got see, a feeling in your gut, girl. <laughs> she might just be a little insecure. Go with it, girl. You think your boyfriend fucking that man? Go with it, girl. Why he out there watching his damn car? He probably watched it. <laughs> you know how Nick get you, good, know, you know how Nick get a good dick? You get up on cooking eggs, bacon, pancakes. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't nobody no eggs, pancakes in a while. <laughs> but I'm just saying. And then she said her, her boyfriend even told her that her cousin... Her cousin asked her boyfriend, dude, he think it's gay if a nigga receives Right, so I don't think with him telling her that, I don't think that, I think that he probably think it's funny. <laughs> Bitch, kick your cousin out. Because <laughs> you know. Because, but you know what I'm saying? Or is, if you got a feeling, sit both your hands down and ask him. Tell me you don't want no shit. It's y'all fucking, plain and simple. It's y'all fucking. Y'all like each other, y'all flirting. Let me know. Mm-hmm. So I can just move myself out but the you way. Know, the man both of them bitches can get out and you find another nigga. <laughs> the man just might be comfortable in his sexuality for him to tell his girl. I'm not saying that. that I, and because I, and asked me to think, you know. And it is a lot of dudes who are comfortable in their sexuality. Mm-hmm. They can be around a gay dude and not care, you know. Right. So it could be that, but I'm just saying, if you got a gut feeling, like ask. Ain't no need, because if... Cause if you if you let it simmer, you gonna do nothing. Be walking around jealous at every time. Every time you say something to you, you gonna be snapping on that. Sure, every time you go in the bathroom, you see motherfucker, the see motherfucker two pay cap off you the motherfucker. You gonna be snapping the fuck. Who the fuck left this? Guy? So you gonna have an attitude all day. So you might as well just ask to get it off your chest. I say if it's that if it's bothering you that much, you got a job now. Put your cousin ass out. You do have a job, so you can give it that thirty day, bro. Thirty days, um, find something else because. Yeah. For me, it do it is a, a line you cross by you know because you know asking that, that man do you think get, especially if you know that from you, a gay guy is, is and then gay. you walk around you know you gay even if her boyfriend's not gay let's say he is coming to sexuality I would still feel like you walking out around in your drawers and shit and you know what you mm-hmm. even if you know you're not gay you still that's still disrespectful to me right and you know I got a nigga living here right. so that is still disrespectful to me because mm-hmm. you know you got some people well I can, he shouldn't be looking that ain't the point it's not the point. You should be respected to me as your family, and then you stand in my goddamn house. <laughs> First of all, he would Hey, if you can go find you some motherfucking long johns or some pajamas, <laughs> you can skip your ass on down Bitch, ain't nobody put on the long johns. I ain't had on that in a long time. You can find you some Ooh, long johns or some pajamas, bitch, or you can skip your ass on back home to your mama, because uh, okay. we ain't having that over here. Oh, my God. So how can these people, Lord? <laughs> but I'm telling you, girl, they fucking. Girl, they are not fucking. I don't they think they fucking. Fuck girl. You like you gone to work all day. You gone to work all day, and they at home knocking boots, bitch. They getting it on. <laughs> they knocking boots like eight times, bitch. They getting it on. <laughs> da, da. Believe if it's your gut, ask them, uh, ask them and see what they do. I, Watch their reaction too, cause nigga, they're, they're, they they reaction to let you know if they lying or not. You should cuz me around there in juicy drawers and shit, bitch. He be in there ignoring her ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then let me know, so that means he fucking you like he fucking me. He fucking you good, ain't? Cause you upset whenever I walk Ooh, in the room. Girl, you can't say shit to me. I wish I was a fly on the wall. You can't you say nothing to me, but if I walk out the room, you talk to my nigga. You bitch, could, nah. bitch, you couldn't. I wish I could be a fly on the wall when you pulled up and your hood, your boyfriend out there sudden the damn car. I bet that bitch look like what the <laughs> fuck? I know this motherfucker. And your car probably dirty as fuck. He ain't touched you on with a motherfucking bar of soap yet, <laughs> but he out here washing this big car like he motherfucking wash and go. <laughs> bitch, no, nah. nah. I don't think they. <laughs> They fucking girl. They fucking girl. Put them out. Put both of them out. 
You can do bad by yourself. You got a job. <clears throat> Put both of their ass out. I Shit. think she should ask. Just ask. Mm. And if you still feel that strongly about it, you have to. <laughs> Put them out. Put him out, bitch. Put him out. Put him out. Okay, well, no put nonsense. Put, put his ass, ass out, girl. Put okay. ass out. <laughs> Ooh, well, that's all the emails we got. I had it. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. This was good. First time back. Show. First time back. Back like we never left, bitch. Back, bitch. So, uh, I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> we back by popular demand. Okay, uh, free. <laughs> Oh, bitch, that was uh, Miss Maya. Oh, same thing. No, it ain't. Don't don't disrespect Miss Maya. I just said same thing. It's same thing. It is the same thing. If, if you have, said it would have said the same way, same thing. <laughs> if you have any problems that you would like for us to um, read out on the show, bitch, send us an email to ask. <laughs> ask. Keeping it real at gmail.com and hopefully your question or letter will be read on the show. Hopefully you guys give us, you know, y'all have a lot of stuff y'all want to talk to us about, so this will give us a reason to keep coming back on the show. Mickey, you just look so pretty, girl. You're just slaying over here. You just, you know, that's what I do. You're doing this. <clears throat> doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it well. I thought it was doing it well. I thought it was well. No, I thought it was doing it and doing it well. I thought I was doing it and doing it and doing it well. You always get a lyric wrong, man. So now that I'm saying I'm right, it's probably why I'm doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. Wow. Google. They don't sound right. Google. That's Google. Because Google knows everything. You always get a lyric wrong. What's the name of the song? Doing it. See? <laughs> cool J. I think it's wild. Doing it. Anytime. I bet you I'm right, y'all. Well. They're lying. They're lying. Google's always wrong, y'all. Don't trust Google. Get your own source. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it don't make sense doing it wild. Cause doing it, they were talking about fucking wild. He was doing it well. He was talking about fucking wild, so it does make sense. So technically, I could have. She was raised out in Brooklyn. All right, y'all, we out. Yeah. <laughs> Is Jerome safe? <laughs>